Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. So today I'm going to introduce you to the base form of slice form pop-up art like the cone that you are seeing. You have already seen me doing one sphere on the same principle. So today we are going to look into how to build this cone. So here is the template which I created in a 3D modeling software and using a visual programming language. So what you see in two columns is basically the slices for the X plane and slices for the Y plane. The two colors that I'm going to utilize are this pink and sky blue color and X plane will be on the pink color and Y plane will be on the sky blue color. It doesn't matter you can put any plane on any color because the slices will always be symmetrical in nature. That is one of the features of slice form art that your slices will always be symmetrical in nature. So fix the template on your craft paper and then we'll proceed to the next step. I'm going to use Olfa paper cutting knife for cutting out these pieces and the paper thickness is 220 GSM. Also it is recommended for any form of slice form art uh, unless it is paper weaving slice form that you utilize a higher thickness or cardstock paper for doing your pop-up slice form. So minimum recommended uh, thickness is that you should start with 200 GSM at least and if you go higher up to 300 GSM then it's good because there needs to be a certain rigidity to the structure or, or, or you know a certain robustness to the structure which can only be achieved in a higher GSM paper. So what you see me doing on screen right now is that I'm cutting the slots. What I mean by cutting the slots is that you will see those lines. Uh, you are not supposed to cut on the line but you are supposed to cut on both sides of the lines by touching the line. So basically we are cutting a slot and we are not cutting a slit. That is the most basic principle of slice form art that you have to cut slots because unless it is a slot you will not be able to slide two pieces into each other. So you need to cut a slot and not a slit. Once you have cut the slots then cut the boundary uh, of the piece uh, along, along the border and then you will have your piece ready. Also for the curious people out there, the software that I utilized for creating this template is Rhino 3D along with Grasshopper 3D. So Rhino 3D is just like Blender but it's a paid software and Grasshopper 3D is basically a visual programming language or you can say it's a scripting language that is utilized by designers and uh, 3D modelers to create their 3D arts and things that cannot be directly done uh, in the modeling software like Rhino 3D or Blender and you need a little bit of programming aspect to it. I'm still learning it. Uh, I'm at a very basic level right now. So it will be quite a while before I prepare the tutorial on how to create this template. For now, if anybody is interested, then I'm willing to share this template. Uh, anybody who wants to try their hands on this template, please message me and I'll share the template with you guys. All right, so I have cut all the pieces of the camera and here they are. I have put them side by side. The construction of any slice form art always starts with the centermost pieces of both the planes. Normally they will be the biggest pieces, but in some cases they can be the smaller pieces also. Do not start with the edges, always start with the center. So pick up the two center pieces and slide the slots into each other. Do it carefully so that you do not accidentally bend the paper or crumple the paper. Do it carefully. If you have created right thickness for the slots, then the pieces are going to fit together and uh, they will not fall off once you leave them or you know, you revolve them here and there. Also one of the features of slice form art is that you can always collapse it like you uh, saw me doing just now. So if you have done it correctly, if the slot thickness are correct, then you will be able to collapse it. Uh, that is a sign that you are doing it correctly. Once you are done with the center pieces, then pick up one of the planes first and keep on assembling the pieces uh, on the center piece of the other plane one by one. And <clears throat> once you are done with that, then pick up the pieces of the other planes and try to assemble them on the pieces of the previously assembled plane that you have already completed. So it took me almost over an hour to finish this small little cone and I believe that had the pieces been a little bit larger it would have been easier but uh, I think that the difficulty level would have been more or less the same. The one thing that you should really keep in mind while working on a slice form you know 
objects and slice form models is that you have to be really patient it is always easy to assemble the slices of one plane but very difficult to assemble the slices of other plane the first plane is easy, easy to assemble because you are just sliding the plane into one single slot but when you start assembling the other plane pieces then what is happening is that you are sliding that piece into multiple slots of the pieces of the other plane so at times it becomes difficult at times the paper will get stuck so be careful if it is getting stuck do not unnecessarily apply force otherwise it is going to bend the paper all you need to do is to be patient and slowly and slowly work through the layers if you are able to successfully work through the first few pieces around the center plane then you will be able to assemble rest of the pieces because if you are able to do the first few pieces then a structure forms around your slice form model and it becomes easier to slide rest of the pieces so uh, be patient uh, do not hurry if you'll hurry then you'll get frustrated you'll get irritated and most probably you'll throw it into the dustbin rather than completing it another way to check if you are assembling the model right is that you keep on flattening the model in between to see if it is getting flattened or not because that is the test of a correctly assembled slice form model so keep on flattening in between and see if you are able to do it if you are not able to do it then that means that somewhere you have assembled something in the wrong slot so that's a good test to see if you are doing things correctly this particular slice form model is a open slice form model because you can see that the base is open the base is not solid base but then there are other slice form models which are completely solid like a sphere which you saw me doing in one of my earlier videos or there are torus uh, and there are other you know solid uh, models also which are difficult to make so open models are always easier to assemble than the closed models because closed models the pieces are going to assemble into each other at the end which is a very difficult thing uh, in future i'm going to post another video on how to assemble a slice form torus which is a closed model but before you attempt that i would suggest that you try to make something simpler like this cone so that you get your hands set on how to assemble these kind of models and finally after assembling all the planes together into the exact right slots this is how the model has turned out to be it is very small uh, but if you look closely you can see that all the planes have assembled in the right slots and it has come out really nice so guys i hope that you found this tutorial useful on how to create a basic slice form model if you guys like the video then please don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends also do subscribe to my channel for regular videos on paper arts and i will see you guys very soon in my next video till then stay safe take care and bye bye